So I'm currently in Pickett State Park right now on the way to the Hidden Passage Trailhead. I'm gonna do a little, uh, probably about a 10 mile trail run today. So very recently, the race director of the No Business 100 had to change the course uh, due to beaver activity. So uh, it's, it's dammed up an area. You guys are familiar with it from my videos. So uh, I am out here gonna do that section uh, of that and then obviously a little bit more. Uh, but it should be a good time, get you guys a little bit of preview footage for the course, those of you running no business. Hopefully it's not gonna rain on me the whole time, we shall see. Nice, looks like some, uh, kinda looks like some high school cross country guys. So I've got the GPX route loaded. Let's get started. This is actually the first time I've been on trail since uh, the Fort Frenzy 12 hour. Cause I had recovery and then I got COVID. So yeah, this is the first time. Looking forward to it. All right, here in the group camp, so no business. Starts right up there, there's a field. He starts right there. And I believe he's gonna run down this road here, which is new for this year because of the uh, reroute. If you wanna see footage of the start, check out any of my other no business videos. I got a bunch of them. I'll put a playlist up at the end of the video you can check out. So then you go across Highway 154 onto Spraws Ridge Road which is a gravel road for roughly about four miles, three and a half maybe. So today is the first run in the Saucony Exodus Ultra. Super excited for these. They feel really good so far. Really nice and cushioned. I've only done a little bit, you know, a little bit of a run here, but we'll see after this what they feel like. Also doing another test of the Solomon uh, Advanced Skin 12. So four of you coming on that too, very soon. Well, we got a little downhill here, not long. Warning, you're about to see the real side of trail running. Should have listened to my instincts. I should have poked back at the uh, group camp. I felt it coming. <laughs> there definitely are a few rollers on this gravel section, that's for sure. All entirely runnable. But in a 100 mile race, <laughs> I don't know, your call. Just don't go out too fast. Well, we just came off of Spraws Ridge Road and took a left onto, uh, I believe this is Black House Mountain Road. Another gravel road, short little jaunt up to, I believe it's called Moccasin Trail. So it is definitely a very short jaunt once you get off of Spraws Ridge up to Moccasin Rock Trail right there. Uh, good gravel and so if you go that way to the right, which you will not do in the race. Uh, that's Pogue Creek State Natural Area or whatever it is. But we're going this way, Moccasin Rock Trail, two miles to pick a state park picnic area. We'll see what condition this is in because I don't think this trail gets used very much. All right, so Ridge Trail. Here I believe we go to the right. The original course would have come from this direction uh, after going through the, uh, the pool, the, the Beaver Dam pool. So I think we're gonna go this way. Over or under? Let's consult the GPX. So I believe my GPX tells me to go above or over, but I'm pretty sure that the route I saw Brian posted had under, so we're gonna go under the bluff. 
to the left. Well, we descended quite a bit, so now we're probably gonna go up a good bit. It's pretty steep right here. That's awesome. So I don't know if you can hear it. There's bluegrass music being played right now, live, I believe over towards the group camp. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. But right now, so we just came out of this trail right here to this little intersection. And that way it'll take you back to the camp. But I'm, we go this way towards Hazard Cave. But I hope that bluegrass is still playing by the time I get to the park, because that sounds pretty cool. Hazard Cave is so cool. It's just massive. I mean, it's, you, you can't really, the GoPro doesn't do the expanse justice. So you're in for a treat on race day. As we climb out of Hazard Cave, we've got a little set of stairs to go up, you know, just a little bit. We're gonna head that way. But up there, just a very, very short walk, is the Hazard Cave parking area. So if your crew wants to come and like see the cave while you're running, it's really like a tenth of a mile walk. So coming down from Hazard Cave, it looks like the trail just keeps going straight, but there is a turn to the right towards Natural Bridge, and that is what we are going to take. That is the course. All right, so we just came down, really short jaunt from that turn we took uh, just up there. Now we are at the uh, sign towards the lodge and then the natural bridge. I believe the route that the RD post goes to the left towards the lodge and does not actually go to the natural bridge. Both routes go the same place. This one's just a hair shorter. So we're gonna go this way. I do believe this is the correct route, but keep in mind it could be possibly that way. So pay attention on race day. Brian always flags his courses really well, so just pay attention. So just past the Storybrook Trail, uh, Storybook Trail, we will pop out at the lodge. Perfect that they have the uh, tent set up here because this is really where the aid station is for the course, usually inside the building. But uh, it's right here. Then after you get your aid, you were going to go up this road, just a little jaunt, cross over uh, Highway 154 again, and get on some gravel towards on Divide Road towards the sawmill uh, trailhead up that way. But now today, I'm going to go this way across the bridge. So normally the course comes across this bridge and then turns that way uh, to the right after. But uh, with the water issue they're having, they are rerouting. So you won't get to see this cool bridge, unfortunately, in the course. So I'll go ahead and put up the official mileage from the start to this aid station on the screen. You can take a look at it, but the elevation, uh, it's, it's pretty flat for that section. So it's like, you know, however, however many miles are on the screen, but the elevation is only like 530 feet, maybe. So pretty flat. Well, we are testing the water uh, shedding abilities of the Saucony Exodus Ultra today. They are nice and wet now. I did have to tie them again just a little bit ago because after getting a little wet, they did feel like they were loosening up just a little bit. So we'll see how they do. So I'm almost back to my car at the trailhead. And this is what would have been the start this year and was the finish last year. So 
you don't really miss a whole lot skipping this. Um, you know, the one bridge, but this is, you know, the other way is pretty nice. But I gotta warn you, <laughs> with that gravel section, this whole start to the um, aid station there at Pickett is gonna be fast. So be cautious, because it can be very fast. Well, there we have it. So that's uh, most of the start to the, uh, to the Pickett aid station. Obviously this first section I did isn't on there in the finish, isn't part of the course, but I showed you where it was. Hope it was helpful. If it was, please give the video a thumbs up. It does help out the channel and the video a lot. And I would really appreciate it. That'd be awesome. And if you want to see more no business videos, I've done almost the entire course preview uh, from last year. So in the opposite direction, but it could probably still be helpful. Uh, I'll put a playlist on the screen of the, um, you know, that no business playlist. And then there'll also be a video on your screen of my no business race that I did, which was in this direction. So the direction that you all will be doing this year. So I might want to check that out too. Saucony Exodus Ultras did well. Feel great on the rocks with that rock plate and that cushion. Just feel awesome. Full disclosure on this too. I am obviously just somebody out running what I believe is the course based off what the RD has put out. But as always, follow the course markings on race day. Don't do something I did because Ultra Trail Steven did it. <laughs> you know, it might be wrong. Pay attention on race day. Also a huge shout out to my wife, uh, Val, and you guys know her. She did no business last year. Uh, injured, didn't get to finish. She made it 54 miles. Huge shout out to her. Today is our uh, 13th wedding anniversary. So she let me come out, do a nice uh, trail run this morning. Then we're gonna go uh, hang out this afternoon and do something. So, so yeah, I love you, Valen, and thank you for uh, putting up with me in my running. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, I appreciate you all. I'll see you on the next one.